Hey y'all, Ivory Sky here, and I apologize for my scratchy voice. I hope I don't have that virus that's going around. Um, but and I hope y'all don't either. But uh, yeah, so if I kind of sound scratchy, that's what's up. This is my first video, and again, I'm in the field with the DJI Air 2S. This is my first video with the 5.4K video setting with the Air 2S. That's a new feature that Air 2S has brought to the table. Historically, I filmed everything in 4K, and with the Air 2S, I've been using 4K60. I really like it. 4K60 with that additional frame rate is really nice for retiming the videos, so I've really enjoyed the 4K60. But let's see, let's max this puppy out. The greatest video, video resolution, rather, that it can do, that the Air 2S can do, is 5K 30 frames per second. So I'm about to hit record. Boom, it's recording. 5K 30 frames per second, 5K 30. Let's look at a few things. We're gonna we're gonna kind of go close to me here. I'm gonna stand beside the camera. We're gonna look at the detail. Hello, how are you doing, Mr. Jones? In 5.4K 30 frames per second, 5.430. Now let's go over there to the vehicle. The vehicle. Let's see what the vehicle. Hello, Mr. Carr. How do you look in 5K30? Pretty good detail. You can really see the reflections. That is pretty cool. Uh, and again, I'm saying it's cool because I haven't watched the uh, the 5K footage yet. You know, y'all y'all are the critics. You know, I'm just. I'm filming in 5K30 just to, to see how it performs. So let's get low to the grass and let's see what the grass detail looks like. That's always a good a good gauge of, uh, of video clarity. So we're gonna go at a very low altitude of about 5.2 feet AGL, 5.2 feet above ground level. And we're going over this hill of grass. Now we're gonna go the opposite direction. I'm flying in reverse at a speed of approximately 20 miles per hour. Look at the cloud detail. We're going to ascend. Ascend means to fly up, up, up. So we're going up towards the clouds, not into the clouds, because that would be unsafe. And I'm the drone evangelist, man. Gotta be safe and responsible. Obviously it goes without saying we are in a safe and responsible flying location. And I'm maintaining visual line of sight to be safe. So look at this detail. Again, 5K30. I'm, I'm not 5K, 5.4K. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I stand corrected, man. This is better than 5K. So what's the level of detail you're observing? You know, this project, I, and, and again, at the time of filming this, I'm not sure if YouTube allows a 5K upload. So I don't know, this may actually be on YouTube in five point, it, it may be on YouTube in 4K. Tell me, is it? Does it show 5K as an option or is it topping out at 4K? But this is being filmed at 5K, 5.4K, I keep wanting to say 5K. It's been filmed at 5.4K, 5.4K, 30 frames per second. So, yeah, just the trees, the grass, the clouds, you know, what's the level of detail you're experiencing? Let's get kind of close to this tree here. Let's get close and cuddly with this tree, man. There's wind blowing. That's good. I love, I love how this thing handles the wind. See, so look at those leaf details. Now I'm going to go over the tree. Wee tree, wee. Boom. There we go, man. Yeah, this is this is cool. And then me. Let's do kind of a let's ascend, kind of over me here. Kind of a rapid descent. Now, in our, now we're doing a rapid ascent going up. Okay, so that's that's 5.4K. 5.4K, 30 frames per second. Now I'm curious to know what y'all think about that. I'm also curious at the time of filming this if I'm able to 
if I was able to publish to YouTube at 5.4K or if I had to publish to YouTube at a, at a lesser resolution. I'm gonna stop recording. Um, you know, tell me, what, what were your thoughts about the quality? Would you use 5.4K or would you just use 4K and why? Um, you know, a lot of people, and this is talking from the, you know, from the film industry, a lot of professional videographers <clears throat> might would use 5.4K in certain situations. When might a professional videographer use 5.4K instead of 4K? Well, for example, if they're publishing a 4K project, 3840 by 2160 resolution, but <clears throat> when they edit that project in post-production, you know, Final Cut Pro 10, whatever video editing tool they may use, they may want to zoom in or, you know, virtually zoom in on certain objects. You know, maybe they wanted to zoom in on me with a tripod, but they didn't want to lose video quality. So if they had filmed it natively in 5.4K instead of 4K, they would be able to crop or zoom, virtually zoom in within post-production a little bit, but still maintain 3840 by 2160 or greater. Because that, that original video from the camera was being filmed at a greater resolution. So think of it as a larger canvas. So when that camera captured 5.4K, it was a big canvas. If it was only capturing 4K, it would be smaller. So if you've got a big canvas and you cut in on a certain area, you can probably still maintain that 3840 by 2160 4K resolution and create a virtual zoom of sorts within post-production. So that's that's when a, when a professional video content creator may choose to use 5.4K instead of 4K. But that's just my opinion. When and when would you use something greater than 4K and why? Would it be the same reason or do you have a different use case? Comment below, man. That's what this channel is all about. You know, it's sharing, sharing ideas, sharing knowledge. And it goes without saying, if you're looking for the DJI Air 2S, the case, the accessories, maybe another drone, expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find where to order it online. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's an owl over there saying, who hoots for you, who hoots for you, who hoots for you, ha. That's an owl, but I don't know if my mic's picking it up. Thanks for your viewership. Y'all have a good day, fly safely. I am the drone evangelist and I always preach safe and responsible drone use. I encourage you to do the same because if we're not all safe and responsible drone pilots, this hobby may cease to exist. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Sky here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Sky. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.